Good morning, my dear students. Good morning, primary two. Welcome again. Miss Omne with you. I miss you this much. So, first, let's revise together our homework in workbook page 136, 137. Now, we have a new grammar lesson. Let's start together. Here we have big. And big here is an adjective. To remember together, I want to use big to compare between the line and the zebra. Do you remember how? Okay, first, the line is big. And to compare between the line and the zebra, I will say the zebra is bigger than super. Here I used ER than to compare between two things. But what if we have a third animal? Oh, it's an elephant and the elephant here is very big. So here in this slide, is there something bigger than the elephant? No. So how can we see that? How can we see how can we say there is no another animal is bigger than the elephant here in this slide? Do you know? This is our new lesson. So let me say this example. The elephant is the biggest animal here. So here I used the, the adjective, EST. And here it means no another animal is bigger than the elephant. And the elephant is very, 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 very big. So here I, I said the biggest. Let's check the lesson and let's say we have levels of comparison so the first example here we have three cats they are the same or they are different okay they are different of course in colors and size but we will take the size the black one is fat okay but the orange one is fatter so here the black one and the orange one, they are not the same, they are different. And if you want to compare between them, and I have two cats here. So we will use comparative factor than. So I add here er than. Why? Because I compare between two cats. But this one, it's very fat teacher. Yes. So how can I express this? How can I say this cat is very, 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 very fat? Okay, we have another structure to say this. We can say the brown cat is the fattest cat. It means there is no another cat is fatter than this cat. So this is the highest level here that we have. Another example. Here I have three pictures for the same boy. The first one, he is just cold. But the second one with red jacket, he is colder. So here I used ER to compare between the first picture and the second one. So this is called comparative. To, co to compare between two things, I will add ER than, but here, when he wears purple jacket, he is freezing, he's very, very, very cold. So we have another way to express this. How? By saying coldest. This is called superlative. So 
the coldest the boy here is the coldest or this picture is the coldest now we have some cases to add est number one we add est to to the short adjective like this example the fa fastest the fastest it's easy number two if you have short adjective ends with e so shall we add another e s t no we will just add s t so we will say the short adjective ends with e we will just add s t so the latest the latest three if we have short adjective ends with consonant and why what is the meaning of consonant let's remember quickly yeah consonant like b k m n these call these are called consonants if you have one of them before y you will cross it and use or write i e s t like this example the heaviest the heaviest number four if you have cvc word as short adjective what's the meaning of cvc c is for consonant and v is for vowels like a e e a o these are called vowels here so if you have consonant vowel consonant in the short adjective you will double the last letter before adding est like this the hottest the hottest here i doubled the last letter of the of the adjective itself t before adding est let's uh, just check here some examples more and you can find it in your um, booklet now let's practice together question number one write the comparative and superlative forms of these adjectives number one i have long i want to use long to compare between two things so i will add er just er because it's short adjective if i want to use long to say very 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 long and there is no thing is longer than so I will use excellent I will add the and then EST so the longest number two I have noisy and don't forget we have consonant S and Y so I will cross Y to add noiser if you compare between two things it's comparative i won't use noisy to say this thing is very 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 noisy so i will say the an excellent i will cross y again to add i e s t to to say the noisiest number three thin CVC here I have th i n it's the three sounds so CVC word so I will double the last letter and here I want to compare between two things so I will add er thank you to be thinner okay if I want to use thin to say very 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 thin and there is nothing is uh, thinner I will say or I will add EST thank you and don't forget to double the last letter before adding EST to be the thinnest number four save save here already ends with E so to use save to compare between two things you will just add or safer 
okay I want you save to compare between just one thing and this thing is very 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 safe so you will add excellent I hear it just ST because I already have ST because I already have E so that safest let's go to another exercise here we will look and write the superlative of the adjective in the practice number one space or which airplane is the big or we will add something okay so let me just tell me which one is the biggest excellent I hear it huh it's letter C thank you so C is the biggest I he hear right add EST thank you and before adding EST we doubled the last letter G because we have C V C where number two old huh. I want here to say which one is the I said the oldest thank you so which letter airplane A airplane B airplane C it's A thank you so A is the oldest airplane number three which one is the the fast Test. thank you fastest we will add EST so what do you think which one it's C excellent thank you C is the fastest number four which one is the very small we will not say very we will say small list which one is the smallest A B C Okay. A excellent A is the smallest. Last question. Write rewrite the following sentences. Number one Luca is taller than Mark. I want to say tallest. Who's tallest? Luca or Mark? Okay, Luca. So Luca is tallest then no we will just say Luca is the tallest boy okay number two the blue whale is the biggest animal in the world I want to change the sentence to end with then the elephant so here I want to compare between two things Mm -mm -mm. so the elephant will be in the end of the sentence so I will start with the blue whale the blue whale is big or small here it will be big but biggest or bigger it's bigger than because here I compare between the blue whale and the elephant so the blue whale is bigger than the elephant so i hope that i hope that the lesson was easy and you can practice more and answer grammar booklet page 29 and 32 33 and 34 see you real soon thank you so much